Philly, baby, it's your boy, Chris Payne, uh, Big Zamunda, on Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Premium, uh, Artist Spotlight of the Week, uh, my boy C Money over here passing me like gasolina right now. Yes, sir. C Money, what's the name of that? Introduce that joint. The first one? The one we just played right fuck now. Fuck how you feel. How the fuck you feel today? He said, bro. fuck how you feel. Yes, That's sir. how you come in. How you feeling today, bro? Feeling good. Good, good. We're going to let you know who C Money is, uh, a few projects. Uh, we're going to debut them today here at Putting On People Radio. Uh, a lot going on in hip hop, a lot going on in Chicago. What's going on on our app this week? Everything going on this week, man. You know, it's uh, how you say it. It is Thanksgiving holiday. We go crazy Black Wednesday, you know, Black Fish loot. We go crazy on Black Friday. We do a little looting, I mean, uh, shopping. Uh, <laughs> all the good shit, you know, all the good stuff. We play the big bucks. We, play, we say shit sometimes. <laughs> Uh, I need everybody, man, to subscribe right now to the Pop Radio Worldwide on YouTube. Go to Pop Radio Worldwide and download the iHeartRadio app. Download us on Spotify Premium and stay connected to all our visuals right on the website. Putting on people radio website is popradioworldwide.com. Uh, no music. Uh, a lot going on with our different shows, too. We got the Red Flag Chronicles, RJ Oliver bringing beautiful ladies in every week. Shout out to RJ Oliver. We got Shot in Love Radio, man. We hope it would give you nothing but love and sharing everybody's Chicago shit. And we got Big Zamunda in this motherfucker doing his own motherfucking radio show as well. Chicago of everybody, baby. You know how we do this, motherfucker. I got something to say real quick before we go to uh, uh, our music break. Uh, and we get back into this How You Feel real quick uh, by C Money. But, uh, man, everybody doing this vlogging stuff and the YouTube stuff. You know, I do I do the YouTube shit. I've been doing the radio for six years. I put the YouTube stuff out there just so y'all can see it. You know what I'm saying? I don't get on the YouTuber really be a YouTuber, but... Sometimes I do feel we gotta talk about certain shit because it's some of y'all that have re no real education uh, and are using these platforms to just say any old motherfucker. Yes, sir. Uh, but Young Dolph situation, man. Rest in peace, Young Dolph. Uh, you YouTubers, man. You know, y'all was the first 48, even though they got the first 48 on that motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I use my platform, man, to put people on, man. That's what, you know, my platform is about. We're about awareness, empowerment, education, and culture. I don't give a fuck where the fuck you from. It's how you come. But it's still Chicago over here, everybody. Yeah, it's still Chicago over here. Right, right. But, uh, man, y'all got to uh, figure out if y'all want to be the police. Y'all want to be a, a, a radio, want to be a media. Or, uh, man, it's just messy, man. A lot of y'all are, and my point so this is really not, you know, uh, like ragging on the YouTubers that, you know, made it easy for the police to do their job, but really on the fact on integrity, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and for these young, me having integrity. So I would not like to see young rappers, man, get caught up, uh, not only in these jails by doing 20 to life for a body, but you know, be careful what you showing in these videos is what I'm saying. Be careful where you, how you shoot, you know, the message you put out because it could come back and, not, and, and, and haunt you. You know what I'm saying? The, the, whatever them people got right now on them, uh, Dolph, uh, you know, uh, suspects is all because, you know, shit that they post on the ground. Well, these guys are you know, you suffocate, you indict yourself by what you put out there, you know? And that's something that's very common. You think that's cool in our culture, but you catch yourself up in that dumb shit because you, you post something and then 20 minutes later you go commit a crime in the same outfit. And you know what? The YouTubers fucking connected the dots. All the police yeah. did was that yeah. just sat back and waited. That's it. You know? So, uh, <coughs> again, my message was to the YouTubers, man. Uh, Y'all doing a hell of a motherfucking job, number one. And uh, for the ones that's watching, you artists, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Watch what y'all put on YouTube. Simple as that. 
Uh, they were friends one day, the next day they are uh, first fully a detective. They were they were sex us up. So you watch out for motherfuckers too, you know? Stop telling on yourselves. Uh, yes. Uh, I feel right, right now. We're putting on people radio pop radio or what I already spot five people. We're gonna be right back. Fuck how you feel for real You know I'm clutching on that pipe, I'm in that feel for real I gotta get it for my shorty, gotta chase these meals If I get caught up with that work, then who gon' pay my bill? Say who gon' pay my bill? Fuck how you feel for real You know I'm clutching on that pipe, I'm in that feel for real I gotta get it for my shorty, gotta chase these meals If I get caught up with that work, then who gon' pay my bill? Say who gon' pay my bill? I been down on my ass, feeling like my life going straight to hell I been on the road trying to get it, I'm just tired of taking all the L's Bitch, I know to keep it on me, why the fuck you think they call a nigga shells? When the crackers lock a nigga up, swear to God I was sick as hell Track call go too fast, stop sign when you blew past Fuck the police, they can suck my dick, if it think I'm guilty, gotta prove that I'm on, nigga, you mad, bitch, nigga, when they do that If it's all the crazy money gang, saying shots out a nigga do rap You will never feel my pain, I been going through some things Had some niggas switched up on me, now I'm steady clutching on my thing You will never feel my pain, I been going through some things Fuck how you feel for real You know I'm clutching on that pipe, I'm in that feel for real I gotta get it for my shorty, gotta chase these meals If I get caught up with that work, then who gon' pay my bill? Say who gon' pay my bill? Fuck how you feel for real You know I'm clutching on that pipe, I'm in that feel for real I gotta get it for my shorty, gotta chase these meals If I get caught up with that work, then who gon' pay my bill? Say who gon' pay my bill? They turn they back on me Yeah, they see I'm in my bag, yeah, I got that sack on me Niggas wanna tweak, well I got shooters that are whack on me Mama hit my phone and told me, please watch your back, honey I say, mom, don't worry, cause you know I keep that strap on me Cause I just want my son to see me on that TV Fuck the ops, I know they mad cause they can never be me I can never leave my shorty side, I know he need me So bitch, that means I got it on me every time you see me Fuck them niggas, always tryna put a nigga in doubt uh, I just want the blue cheese, all blue hunters, I don't want clout Pull up on a fuck nigga, like what's all the shit you talking about, ayy What the shit you talking about, ayy Fuck how you feel for real You know I'm clutching on that pipe, I'm in that feel for real I gotta get it for my shorty, gotta chase these meals If I get caught up with that work, then who gon' pay my bill? Say who gon' pay my bill? Fuck how you feel for real You know I'm clutching on that pipe, I'm in that feel for real I gotta get it for my shorty, gotta chase these meals If I get caught up with that work, then who gon' pay my bill? Say who gon' pay my bill? Yeah, I know the fuck we going, man, shop boy, see money in this bitch Hold on the money gang shit We in this bitch with pop radio Go follow my motherfucking Instagram See money Underscore MGM. Let's get this shit. We back, man. On putting on people radio pop radio worldwide. I heart radio Spotify premium. That was how you feel. C money is our artist spotlight of the motherfucking week. Next door. Came up in this motherfucker. Came up in this motherfucker young, clean, with three hot ass bangers. I'm gonna get that was one. You hear me? That's one right now. But now we're going to get to the story of uh, the artist, C Money. Uh, for anybody that's, you know, tuned in on iHeartRadio right now and can't see us on the YouTube, go to C Money underscore MGM and you will see exactly who the young brother is. Yes, sir. How you doing, my brother? Doing good. How about yourself? Man, great, great. Uh, my boy Eli, man, uh, put me up on you. Uh Hypno as well. Hip, Hip, Hypno told me, uh, I think Hip also mentioned you. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you're a Forever Legend artist? Yes, sir. Okay, congratulations on that. Artist. So, yeah, Hypno's very picky. <laughs> yes, so, congratulations. Yes, yes, he is. Um, well, you got, you know, for me to you, bro, uh, honestly, you have a different sound. You're young. Uh, you know, and it's all about commitment. And I know for, you got a few things on your side, which is that Hypno wouldn't even be messing with you if he didn't think you could be committed <coughs> and, 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 and determined, you know, to put a lot of ambition. You are very talented. Um, I want to know what kind of story are you trying to tell the people with your music? Man, basically, it's just a story of, of, of a young nigga trying to get it out. That's it, trying to get out the motherfucking mud, trying to get out the poverty. Trying to do better not only for me but for my kids. You know, it's just a lot more to this shit. I don't, I don't, I'm not doing this shit as as a game. You feel me? It's a lot more to this shit. Anybody that you attribute uh, in your success um, and uh, the devotion 
that you got to the game right now that might, like, for instance, help you with artist development and, you know, show you the ropes and, you know, be like, man, don't go, don't make a left, nigga, you know, make a right, because uh, it's fucked up to the left. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. That, 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 Eli plays a big part in that. Eli, game. okay. Hip knows well. You know, Hip knows always, always on my ass. I ain't gonna so lie. So Hip knows Carlito gives you artist development? Yes. He, Dope. he does. Dope. You know, he, he tries to guide me in the right direction. And, you know, he be telling me what the fuck to do, what not to do. You know, when I first started coming around and shit, he told me how to, you know, work my Instagram. Told me how to, you know, delete all that bullshit ass shit I had on my shit. And basically told me, you know, it's time to move like professional type shit. You know? So it's like, it's different. You gotta carry yourself different now. So he gave you some. He gave you, you some. Brand. You represent that brand, you know. He gave me. He gave you some polishing tips. Yep. Uh, Zamunda. No, no, no. That's what we call it. With you know, as like where'd you grow up and uh, how did it influence your music and like what part does it play in your opinion? I mean, I grew up in the uh, on the Kansas side of Humble Park. Okay. Humble Park. Humble Park in the building. You already know, baby. And it it was kind of tough. At first, I mean, at first it was all it's all funny games and shit. And so motherfuckers, you know. I don't really want to get that much into it, but you know, motherfuckers started falling into the streets more and more. Okay. And then, you know, bumping heads with certain people, and it just. I'm glad you brought that up, right? Um, as an older brother, right, who done played that, you know, the streets, and you know, got my coco tassels and learned and stuff, you know, I mean, you know, you grow up, you know, I, I can tell you that, you know. But has hip hop, bro, just like by watching, um, History, hip 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 hop history, uh, and the violence and maybe the drill movement has that taught you anything uh, educational or maybe how to you know move a little better? But then do you apply it to anything? I mean, yeah. Don't get me wrong. We come from the most violent, don't, don't motherfucking. You know, a motherfucker that sit up and put the, the coldest song out there, talking about what the fuck he going through. I don't have shit to do with game banging versus. A motherfucker that'll be out there with a hundred motherfuckers behind him, type right. of shit. Which song you think gonna do more numbers? Everybody, everybody loved violence. Everybody loved that shit. Not too many people want to listen to what a motherfucker's going through, type of shit. Cause everybody loved the guns. Everybody loved the cars. Everybody loved the bitches. Everybody loved all that shit. But, so you, know, you think that's more marketable? I mean, yes. In all reality, it is. That's your yeah. It yeah, is. You know, it is. Hey, you're it entitled is. to say I think this shit sell more. You know? It do, okay. It do. But at the same time, you're educating me at the same it, time it, as well. There's a different crowd for a different type of music. Yes, yes. That's one thing I have learned for sure. And that's a lot harder money because you know most artists' money it comes from you know performing and whatnot. It's gonna be hard to perform those type of places. It's gonna be different Ooh. venues you can't perform. So you realize what you're saying is also true. They get the immediate media buzz because immediate people feel something they relate immediately. You know, but it's kind of microwave music because yeah. eventually it dies out. The way I see it. Is if, if there's different groups of music, that's just different spots of money that you can make. That's right. why I try to stick to different. I try to change my flow sometimes. I branch off into different type of right. music. I try working with different people. I don't try to stick to the same thing. And one thing I don't do, I don't be lying in my music. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't be capping about no got a hundred thousand dollar chain on because I don't. Everything I rap about is real. I about the shit. See, buddy, how long you been uh, writing, bro? How long I've been writing, man? I've been making music for a minute. I'll say a good over six years. Six years. But I ain't start. I've been writing since I was like thirteen, to be honest. But I ain't started taking that shit serious till I was like 19, 18, 19. What was your motivation to take it serious? Like, what, what, what pushed you forward? In your opinion, trying to get the fuck up on the struggle. Yeah, for sure. That was one. And then once I had my son, it was over with. You knew you had a talent. It, it was. It wasn't an option. It wasn't an option. I, I don't like working. No, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not shooting shots to anybody that work a regular nine to five. When you get your hustle, I respect all every, anybody that gets. Yeah, like three. Like, yeah, you know, the <laughs> and I respect that. I respect that right away. Talk like for like anything. For, for me, I'm the type of person yeah. I can't do that. So if I'm good at something, I'm gonna stick to it. Yeah. I'm gonna stick to it. I'm gonna try my best to make it work. And especially if I believe in myself and I know I can do it, why the fuck not? That's just the way I see shit. I don't know. A lot of people don't think like me though. So. What helps you create the best music? Experience, for sure, for sure. So sometimes you take a little break and go through some shit and yeah. digest it. I mean, it's not like I choose to go through shit. You know, life's a motherfucker. Yeah. Life hit you. You be on one second, boom, life's yeah. I right, bring that ass here, and then you know you just gotta 
The way I see it, motherfuckers don't take loss. I always tell everybody around me, I don't, you don't take losses. They're all lessons. Mm. Always lessons. Always nice. lessons. That's the way I see shit, personally. Uh, what we got out right now? Let the people know what you to just put the fuck out. What, what you? What we should go stream? Uh, and why we should go fuck with the music on the Man, way. look, I got motherfucking need more out. I just dropped that shit right now as the newest artist for uh, to Forever Legend. Shout out Hypno, and uh, I got a uh, live from the trenches talking my shit. Go check that shit out because I, I real live be talking my shit. I don't need no fuck money. Get never care, and. You know, it's just a whole bunch of other features I got on my YouTube channel. You know, just check it out. Y'all, y'all not gonna be disappointed. I promise you. What's the name of this next joint right here, bro, bro? What's this one? Uh, the one that I got up on the Keep Going. What's the name of that? Need more. Need more. Need more. That's that. That's the newest song I just dropped right now. Okay, I, I'm not gonna play. I'm not gonna go to music, but yeah, but that's the one I'm gonna play next. Need more. Uh, I just got a different name. Out. Uh, you got some more questions for? Uh, no, I say, uh, someone. I hear your music, I like it, bro. It's uh, what do you feel like you get your sound from? I'm not saying you mimic anybody, but do you say when you, you got a dope, yeah, you do got a dope. I, I, I like that you have a sound, like it's, it's, it's very distinctive. It's not just some guy who hop in the studio and want to rap. So, I, I want to know, like, when you hear music, the flow inspires you, like, mm. when you get your flow. Like, I know you relate it to yourself, you put yourself into it, like. You hear certain people's music, you'd be like, okay. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, in my opinion, it's all about challenging yourself. Okay. So I'll hear a, a, a good ass song that I like, that I personally like, and I'll be like, damn, I wonder if I can make a song like that. And then, oh, I'll try it, boom, next thing you know, it's a motherfucking hit. So it's like, I'm not saying I'll be trying to jock other people's flow and shit. It's more about, like, trying different shit out. You know, I think. It works. It works. You know, I think good people inspire people. That's what I mean. Like, uh, you know, when you see good NBA players play against each other, right. they go on it because they, they see that. Like, oh, I see that. Right. I'm going to this to you now. That's right. what I mean. Like, I, when you hear good music, that's what it makes you want to do. Like, you just might say something soulful, but it's also hood. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm like, okay, I got, that's what I want to do. I want mm -hmm. to relate to people, but I need to, it's to let, you know, street shit, but I want people to relate. Yeah. You know, not putting myself in box like we spoke about earlier. You know? Musically, musically, see money, who are like some of your biggest music influences? Oh, uh, back? Yes. Hands biggest, down. biggest, biggest. Hands down, dirt. Dirt. No, okay. no big ride shit. Dirt, man, he real life got that shit out the mud type shit. I fuck, her, her, fuck with Herbo, Polo G, all, all, all of them are, they went through shit that I could relate to at some points in my life. And a lot of people can't do that shit. And that's why certain people fuck with people that make music about the struggle and the shit they went through because they can relate to that shit. And it's like, damn, when you hear that shit, it's like, oh shit, that shit just happened the other day. Damn, that's crazy. You know? And then it's like, motherfuckers start bumping that shit more. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it out there. I'm gonna put it out there. Who's your one of your favorite female rappers? You know that you be that you could, could even consider like getting on a track with a female, a hot female in the game right now. She could even be on the ground, you know. Man, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie, my favorite female artist is Cardi. I'm not going to lie, she writes it down, I feel like okay. she real life, she okay. is, it's, yeah. an, it's an authentic, okay. authentic hood in her, it's just, it's just, you can just tell. It makes sense, that's how you're appealing to the real life about that they're shit, yeah. they can sense that she's not real. Tell the people, man, uh, uh, Pop Radio, man, I am already on Spotify, give us a fun fact about you, you know, like, you a gamer, nigga, you like tacos. I so love the some motherfucking tacos. Like yeah. Fat ass wood on, bro. Ooh, get you some tacos. Give us another one. Give us another fun fact so people get to know you a little bit. You know? Let me see. Uh, recently, all my songs that I've been dropping are freestyles. I walk in the studio. Nothing to do with music. I don't, I don't fun fact about you. Uh, one pick. Grand Theft Auto. Uh, one pick. Uh, I'm cold as hell. Don't know about that. <laughs> one pick. Hey, shout out Eli. I'll bust your ass any motherfucking day. He know it. He can't lie. He cannot lie. Everybody in my, everybody in the circle know. I'll hey, bust listen. your motherfucking ass. Get up with me. Listen, everybody make some uh, noise real quick for some. <laughs> right uh, you need to go check out. That talking my shit, uh, we gonna ride out with that at the end of the uh, show today. But next, we gonna come back, man, with his management, Eli. We gonna talk to him about some uh, uh, artist development tips, and uh, you know, we gonna be right back. Stay right there. Uh, the next one is Need more. Need more. Need more. Need more. Need more. 
I've been rocking that Gucci and Dior. I've been stacking my paper, I need more. Trying to jump in my lane and I detoured. I feel like giving up, but I just keep going, but I just keep on. They sent me money to jump in this bag. I pull the baddest bitches. A nigga like me came from flipping them packs. I want some racks. I've been rocking that Gucci and Dior. I've been stacking my paper, I need more. Trying to jump in my lane and I detoured. I feel like giving up, but I just keep going, but I just keep on. They sent me money to jump in this bag. I pull the baddest bitches. A nigga like me came from flipping them packs. And I pull up in the porch. Bitch, you heard what I said. Money gang to the door. Gotta keep one in the head. Cause the nigga wanna smoke. Got a sign by a head. Now these bitch niggas mad. About to jump in the track. Cause you know that bitch fast. Just cop me a chain. So you know I'm finna brag. About to run me up a mill. Throw that shit up in the stash. Uh, if a nigga gave you one chance, tell a nigga what you finna do with it. All this fake love steady in the air. Got a nigga out here trying to move. I ain't gotta shoot shit. I keep a shooter with me. And they all keep a mask. Don't know who was with me. Got this ice on my neck like a cooler with me. If you see me solo, got the rules. I've been rocking that Gucci and Dior. I've been stacking my paper. I need more. Trying to jump in my lane and I detour. I feel like giving up, but I just keep going, but I just keep going. They sent me money to jump in this bag. I pull the baddest bitches. A nigga like me came from flipping them packs. I'm on some I've been rocking that Gucci and Dior. I've been stacking my paper. I need more. Trying to jump in my lane and I detour. I feel like giving up, but I just keep going, but I just keep going. They sent me money to jump in this bag. I pull the baddest bitches. We're back, man. That was me, more artist spotlight of the week. C money. Just told me and Zamunda, man. Uh, some of his upbringing, uh, his uh, music influences. Um, about the son even told us about what the guys are motivated and uh, what kind of why he tells you his story. So we do have right here in the studio as well his management team, Mr. Eli. How you doing, Eli? I'm chilling, I'm chilling, man. Let's make some noise. <laughs> you know, everybody can change their life, man, and play, you know, big, uh, you know, big parts in other people's lives. A lot of people, you know, really want to help the, help the youth. Uh, some people just think all about themselves. Uh, what brought you into, you know, being like a quarterback, you know, management, you know? Because that's what the fuck a, a manager is, bro, motherfucking quarterback for the artist, bro. Man, shit, if you want the real story, shit, it came out of left field. You know, okay. From uh, what used to be one of my ops, I ended up turning somebody I associate myself with and being cool with. And uh, he slid on me one day like, man, Joe, you know, my little homie right here got it. So, you know, in the beginning, I didn't want to hear that shit, you know. I'm, I'm in these streets. I ain't getting no fuck. I was out here, you know, rapping, doing me too. So I actually sat down and listened to him. I'm like, damn, this little nigga do got it. Got that. So from that day, shit, I hit him up. He hit me back, you know? Shorty didn't know me from a can of paint, you know what I'm saying? He done heard stories about me, but didn't know me. So, you know, he showed up to the stool by himself, you know? Okay, see, I gotta ask you, what made you hit up Eli on the, on the, on the back channel and tell him, hey, look, uh, could you help me out with this music shit? Man, it's a whole little story behind that. I ain't I even mean, we got no time that. right now. You know, I, I can get Look, some of when it. Look, when I told when I told the whole gang that he wanted me to come through to the studio to to, to, to talk to me and shit, everybody was like, nigga, you tripping. That's the <laughs> setup. He finna set your ass up. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, man, look, he ain't got no reason. He don't, I don't know him. He don't know me. You feel me? Like, we had, we bumped, but then we squashed that shit. It was what it was, whatever it is. And nobody wanted to go with me. Nobody wants to go. Nobody. I'm like, so I'm like, damn. Why the fuck don't know? Everybody talking about they with me. Everybody talking about it's this, it's that. When it, I'm talking about it's time. It's time to ride. Nobody with me. So I'm like, man, fuck it. it. It ain't nobody's dream but my shit. I'm pursuing this shit. This is the lifestyle I want. So I'm like, man, fuck that. Left all the money at the crib. Left the banger at the crib. Left everything at the crib. And I walked up in there. Not knowing shit. And yeah, I guess he seen that shit. He fucked with it. And he just on that money shit. Same shit I'm on. Dope story. Okay. Crazy. So he showed up, <laughs> go low, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, I mean, you know, the right way, humble. And we started off working, though. It wasn't no, uh, it wasn't no management shit in the beginning. It was, we did a song. Dope. So. I heard it. I heard that song. I got damn it. I fell back. I'm, 
You know, I'm kind of old. I man. get, I get that too. This pandemic changed a lot. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 he got it, man. It's, it's his time, bro. It ain't about That's me. Dope. You know what I'm That's saying? Dope. So I, I seen some in him. I'm like, fuck it. You know, let's get this shit done. Shit, you know. Well, I introduced him to hip, and hip was like, shit, <laughs> he got it. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to get that about that nigga. I so, said that earlier, man. It's, you know? it's not easy to for hip to yeah, stab no, you. He, he he it's sure. not easy for a Latino in this rap industry anyways. At all. At all. You know what I'm saying? It's hard. You know what I'm saying? So, so what do you foresee out of him uh, within the next year? What do you... On top. Okay. Where he's supposed to be. Okay. Only one way. Um... Do you have any problems, uh, or does he have any problems with, um, you know, Chicago's a tough city, right? So, does the gangs or anything play any, you know, parts of his life? Everybody think he a part of my gang, man. He ain't a part of my gang. He his own gang, bro. He money okay. gang, you know yes, what I'm saying? Money gang. He okay. really from our west. He lord, you know what I'm saying? We from two other sides Dope. of the street. Dope. You know what I mean? So, it's... it's there's no history right there within that game shit. It's about money, it's about, about music. About that. I fuck with a lot of niggas. about the culture. That's it. Nice. So it's, it's really about the mob tie shit. Motherfuckers be like, oh, he fuck with this, he fuck with that, he be around who, what the fuck is on, what, what, what's they on, what's they on. Oh, Tom, it's mob ties. Oh, while y'all falling back and not fucking with certain people, y'all closing y'all doors are opportunity. Oh, I, I'm good anywhere I go, to be honest. I'm not even trying to cap because I associate myself with whoever I can. When you uh this this message for everybody, man. If you really try to do music, uh this goes to the young artists, you know. You gotta understand, bro, that you know, if you really try to make it professional, you got to learn how to work with other people, man, you know, uh yep. in the city and you know, humbly work, you know. But that's a big problem too, I'm gonna stop right there, cause okay. you can't just really work with anybody and everybody. Cause there's always some shit to this shit, you know what I'm saying? So it's like you could but it's like, you really gotta be careful who you really fuck with. Cause even in the main industries, with mainstream people right now, they don't just fuck with everybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you're saying this. Go ahead. So, no, preach, it, it, preach, it, preach. No, it's facts. You know, I watch you can't shit. Just be right. You can't just fuck with everybody, bro. Everybody's not for everybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, when I took interest into him, I, I put my rap career on the stop. Fuck that. We'll get to this. You know what I'm saying? It's only one way it's gonna go. We're gonna get it or we not, and we still say we did it. You know what I'm saying? See, Money, do me a favor. I got young listeners, right? If you could tell a 16 year old young uh, aspiring artist Latino coming out of the trenches on Mo Park that sees your videos, you know, he's a fan of yours. You got kids nowadays, man, 13, 14, 15, they love uh, your music, you know? So if you can give them an inspiring word, man, uh, how to start, you know, and pursue his dreams, what could you tell them? Man, just just do it. Stop saying I need to get in the studio. Stop saying I need to shoot it. Just do it. Just pretty much just fucking do it. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Uh, do me a favor, RC Money. Uh, everybody, again, make some noise. We're going to talk this shit at the end of the motherfucking show. Uh, project out right now. Talking my shit, they did a live uh, in the trenches performance that was pretty dope. You guys gonna go like, share, support, subscribe, all that good shit. Eli, talk about it. What y'all got coming up? Uh, and uh, both of y'all, you know, uh, send some shout outs, man. Man, shout out here, shit. Motherfucking everybody in Forever Legend Studios. Uh, P. Cooler and Josh, man, you already know. Fucking um. Right now, so he got a lot of shit coming up. He got his EP about to drop real soon. Um, he got some more videos that's finna drop. Yes, you know sir. What I'm so right now we just putting shit in the vault, but we putting shit out at the same time. The right way. Um, like you were saying about the shorties, man. Anybody trying to record, you know, you can always go to Forever Legend Studios. Where's that? That's Forever uh, Legend Studios. Yeah, Forever Legend Instagram Studios. has a page too. Yes, right? they do. Forever Legend Studios. I think you can find it like that on Instagram too. They also got a clothing line. They all trying to get. Fired. And they got dope graphics. Yeah. So yep. if you go look at L Hitters last cover for or cover. That was Forever Legend uh, graphics, right? Yeah, there. Shout out, you know. So uh, yeah, we working though. That's all. 
Man, it, uh, any shout outs you want to send out? Uh, oh, yeah, for sure. Shout out him. Shout out Forever Legends. We, we coming to secure that bag off top. Oh, know? and the whole MGM crew. Money and gang crew. I know we see you over there. Yes, sir. And just sh- shout out to uh, Coca, man, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's that's right. Coca, man. He, he got a new project, too, man. Yeah. Yeah. That shit dropped. Yeah. And the Zod Boys, man. You yes. got that old weed. That shit go crazy, man. Coca came through here and let us have it. Yeah, that old weed crazy, man. It's your boy, Mad Pop. Uh, bitch, I'm talking my shit. Fuck, nigga, get on my dick. I'm in the booth with the stick. I pop me a fifth. Same one, I'm popping the stick. It's 32 shots in this wig. Bitch, I'm talking my shit. Fuck, nigga, get on my dick. I'm in the booth with the stick. I pop me a fifth. Same one, I'm popping the stick. It's 32 shots in this wig. Now that I'm pissed, the nigga all try to brush me off. Bitch, you know that I'm a boss. I got the work and get it off. Keep the knee in the road. So I'm just trying to get far. Nigga, try to help me get the bag. That's for him to brag. Had to cut the shit short. I was really out the serving pack. Trying to stack the cash. I ain't taking no shorts. Got the drop line jumping, bro. Got the 40 no tussling. Creeps popping, nigga, like nothing. Got the parking lot bumping. Ace pill, got my heart popping. 30 on my waist, get the stuff. Put the bottom of my face. Only in the back of my chase. I ain't got time to be wasted. So the money I raise. Y'all niggas running in place. I'm one of a kind, no replacing. Bitch, you know I'm gon' slide, slide, slide. So they whole hood. Dry, dry, dry. Get a blink on my side, side, side. Really, niggas gon' die. Bitch, I'm talking my shit. Fuck, nigga, get on my dick. I'm in the booth with the stick. I pop me a fifth. Same one, I'm popping the stick. It's 32 shots in this wig. Bitch, I'm talking my shit. Fuck, nigga, get on my dick. I'm in the booth with the stick. I pop me a fifth. Same one, I'm popping the stick. It's 32 shots in this wig. Bitch, I'm gon' slide, slide, slide. Till they hold up. Drive, drive, drive. Get a blink on my side.